So I'll be talking about uh, how we're using AI for diabetic retinopathy detection. Diabetic retinopathy screening can detect uh, site-threatening changes before it's too late. And um, that's why IPAX, for 15 years now, has been putting these retinal cameras in primary care clinics that don't have access to eye care in order to be able to capture images like the one you see here and detect diabetic retinopathy. So what happens with diabetes? So in diabetes, uncontrolled blood sugar um, damages the small blood vessels in the back of the eye. And this is the back of the eye here, the retina. And that leads to the death of nerves and receptors. That's called diabetic retinopathy. So with the retinal image in the primary care clinic, um, those images can be transmitted to an eye care provider who then reads the image and then provides a consultation. You can tell what, uh, if a retina is healthy or if it's damaged. This is a diabetic retina here. Um, so we've been doing this for 15 years and we have millions of images. Those images were used as ground truth for ARDA, and that's Google's uh, deep learning algorithm for, that detects and grades diabetic retinopathy with accuracy greater than 90%. That's better than what human eye doctors can do. And not only that, but it gives an instantaneous read, it, it, an inst instantaneous uh, measure of the level of diabetic retinopathy. Instead of having to wait hours or days, you know, they get, uh, the clinics can get an immediate uh, measurement and know what to do with the patients. So ARDA is currently just used in clinical trials, um, so, but it's going to be a game changer when it's, when it's out there. Um, AI has also helped us with other, um, other things. Uh, for example, with image quality, we have a big problem in that we have to train and retrain the staff in the clinics that take the pictures. And it's, a, it's really kind of a tedious task. So now, with Google's algorithm adapted, um, the photographers can get immediate feedback and know if an image is too dark, too light, if it's blurry, if it's not positioned right, and, um, and even if there's a smudge on the lens. So that's been extremely helpful. But what's been even more interesting to us is the uh, things that, um, that AI can do. These are the pictures of the screening programs that we have throughout the world. At any rate, it's, we know that, that the algorithm is seeing things that humans cannot see. And you can be able to tell if there is cardiovascular risks, risk of a heart attack or a stroke, neurological conditions, and that opens up a lot of possibilities. And we envision the retinal image being maybe part of the vital test. When, uh, when a patient comes to the doctor, you get the blood pressure, weight, and then also a retinal image. So this is the, the grading algorithm that we talked about. So another problem, too, is that Vision impairment is projected to triple by the year 2050. There's not enough eye care providers to uh, be able to keep up in an already burdened healthcare system. So we need to do something to prevent this vicious cycle of blindness of people getting to the eye doctor when it's too late and when the treatments don't work anymore. Uh, so we're really excited to be working with Google on um, apps that truly make a difference on the front lines of, of healthcare. Thank you.